Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I don't know about you guys, but this weekend was very busy and my son turns five on Tuesday, April 18th. Today is the 16th and we celebrated his birthday yesterday at this trampoline, like they have trampoline, a trampoline park there and they have golf like mini golf they have cornhole they have an arcade there it's just like a really fun place for a five-year-old boy and this was the first year that he did like a friend party so he got to invite friends like before it was covid and then you know we kind of just did family and neighbors and things like that and so this was his first year he got to send out invitations and he was so excited and he had like the best time you guys and then today, um, my cousin and her twins, so his first cousins, spent the night with us last night after the party. They live, they don't live here where we live in Alabama. They live about two hours away. And so they spent the night. And then today we took them all to Disney on ice, which was so much fun. And so it's just been a fun-filled weekend, but this mama is tired. So I uh, got this stuff in the mail I got the Sassy Girl Aroma stuff yesterday, so Saturday, and then I got the Scoopable Tart Wax. I want to say Friday, maybe Thursday. So, today's like the first time I'm able to film, so if I look exhausted and sound exhausted, it's because I am. So, my apologies if I don't look or I'm not as peppy as normal, but um, it's like 9.30, my kids just went to sleep, and... Um, so now I'm just getting to film this haul. So anywho, I've got a combined haul to share with you guys. I've got, like I said, Scoopable Tart Wax and Sassy Girl Aroma. The Scoopable Tart Wax, I think I ordered it on Pi Day. And it was like a pre-order, so I knew it was going to be like a longer tat. And then Sassy Girl Aroma, I think I placed this order in March. And I'm not even sure. I looked at the Scoopable Tart Wax order, but I haven't smelled anything. And the Sassy Girl Aroma, I like literally just opened it and took it out of the box. And like kind of unwrapped it and things like that just to save on time. But um, let's just hop right in. I guess we'll start with Scoopable Tart Wax. You guys know I love Kathy and Tim's shop. Here is their business card. And I'll be sure to link their website as well as their Facebook group in the description box down below, as well as Sassy Girl Aromas. I always try to do that. If I forget to mention it in a video, I always try to link the shops, the Facebook groups, and information if they're having an upcoming pre-order or ready to ship or anything. I try to leave all of that in the description box. And like I said, I ordered she had like a special like chunk pie thing on for pie day and also she had some other items in her shop and i want to say i'm not sure if it was all pre-order or maybe if you just ordered everything all together and had the pre-orders in your cart she just shipped them all at the same time which obviously makes sense but um anywho she sent a sample this is cinnamon sugar pretzels this is a scoopable sample which i've just recently gotten into scoopable wax i just love it you guys it's I didn't order any from in this order, but Scoopable Wax is so fragrant, so like it doesn't melt or have a smell as long, like maybe like 10 to 12 hours, but I would say six to eight, and it's so strong, and I love it. So super happy to have this. This is pretzels dipped in cinnamon and sugar. That writing is super small. I don't know if you guys can see, but this smells so good. And I can't really pop it out because it's scoopable and it's kind of soft, but yes, cinnamon, sugar, pretzels. This is so good. I love pretzels, cinnamon and sugar. I mean, you can't go wrong there, so I'm excited to try that. Okay, I love their scoopables. But let's start with, let's see, I got... Four of the pies from Pie Day, and let me just say, I was really shocked with how big they were. I was kind of expecting, like, maybe, like, a little bit bigger than a souffle, but these are probably double, maybe even bigger than that, the size. So, I'll do those last, but this is kind of a smaller order. But the first thing I got was these little wax heart melts, and I've gotten these before. They're so cute. But this first one, I got Wild Berry Ice Cream Scoop Bread. This is a repeat purchase. I really love this. It says, super strong blend of strawberry and blueberry blended with ice cream scoop bread. So here it is again. It 
So wild berry, strawberry, and blueberry. I did not know that, but it smells so good. Berry and ice cream scoop bread. It's just a great combo. Her wild berry is beautiful. I've gotten this before. I know I love it. So just picked up another one while I was there. I also got sea salt lavender breeze. Summer days spent by the sea with a soft lavender breeze. So I kind of got this for the, you know, spring. I'm trying to get into more like fresh aquatic scents. Oh, wow. This is nice. Okay. Summer day spent by the sea with a soft lavender breeze. It is very soft lavender, but it's so pretty and fresh. I don't know what's in this. It's not like beach nights. It's like a more, not really floral. I can't even describe what's in this. Does it have coconut? And I don't typically even, no, maybe not. You guys, I don't know, but whatever this is smells really good. It's kind of like a softer, fresh aquatic scent with a little hint of lavender. Very nice. Perfect for this time of year. And my husband is not a fan of lavender, but I think he'll like this one because he loves like aquatic type scents. Okay, and I got another loaf of carbs. Like, I think this is my fourth loaf, you guys, but I just cannot. Every time I melt it, like, and I have a couple scoopables, I think this is my fourth loaf, and then I've got, like, one more of the little ice cream scoop shapes that she did, but I just never want to run out of this. This is, like, my favorite thing from Scoopable and Rose Girls, quite frankly. This scent, if you like Ready Bakery, you have to try this. This is carbs. This is Dunk My Donut, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Fresh Baked Bread. If you watch my channel, this is no surprise. It's just like, I can't order from Kathy and not get this if she has it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's so phenomenal. And I mean, on cold, it smells good. Don't get me wrong. But it really opens up and just, it's so strong on warm. And it just, it's amazing. I recommend it to everyone. This scent is a favorite, and it's just so incredible. Okay, and then now we'll move on to the pies. So I got four of them. I think most of them were like strawberry-ish, maybe, which is right up my alley. But this first one is Blueberry Muffin Cookie Wars. It says Chunk Pot Pie with Strawberries. Okay, Blueberry Muffin Cookie Wars is Blueberry Muffin Blended with Cookie Wars. Sorry, I don't know the sense of cookie wars, but if I can find them, I will put them on the screen here. This is so pretty. So I will take it out of the bag and show you. It's got strawberries in it. Try not to make a mess. Wow, I can already smell that. It smells so good. Mmm, yes. Blueberry muffin is divine. Cookie wars. So this smells like... Maybe like a cookie dough with a sugar cookie. I don't know. Um, I could be way off. But like I said, if I can find the notes, I'll put them on the screen. It smells so good. I love Blueberry Bakery, you guys know. And let me just see if I could compare this. So like here it is next to the loaf. So you can see it's quite large. And then here, I don't know if you can even tell the thickness, but... These pies are very big. And this is another one that I'm not even going to want to cut up because they're so pretty. I love chunks and like loaves and, and pies and things like this. It's so fun. Okay, this next one is surprise sweet bread. Strawberry jam, blueberry muffins, and sweet bread. So I don't know. Let's see. I wonder what sweet bread is. I don't know that I've ever smelled that. But yes, this smells so good. The strawberry jam's what I get the most. I do get the blueberry muffin, and I do get a bready note. Sweet bread. I don't know, but it smells really good. Gosh, that's good. It just, it's like, it smells so good. It's good enough to eat, but please don't. Okay, next I got strawberry Nilla Noel, which I've tried before from Rose Girl, so I know I love it. This is a very popular blend. This is vanilla wafers, strawberry jam, and vanilla bean Noel. So I had to pick this one up. So pretty, you guys. It's just like a, 
a vanilla creamy strawberry. It's so pretty. If you like strawberry and you've never tried Strawberry Nilla Noel, I highly recommend it if you can find it at Rose Girls or at Scoopable Tart Wax. Very good. And the last one is one I've never tried before. It's Strawberry Carbs. I love carbs. You guys know I rave about it all the time. I picked up another loaf. And Strawberry Jam blended with carbs. Like, I mean, yes. This sounds like a summer scent if I've ever heard one. Anything blended with carbs, I would probably like because it's so good, but strawberry jam with carbs. I get both notes. Like, I think this is going to be so good. I honestly should have picked up another one, but glad to have this one. This smells so incredible on cold. I think it's just going to be a powerhouse on the warm. So, all right, you guys. That's everything I got from my pie day order a couple, four weeks ago from Scoopable Tart Wax. As always, loved it all from Kathy and Tim's shop. You guys check them out if you haven't already. It's a great way if you miss out on Rose Girls ready to ship or pre-order. Kathy pours a lot of the same blends and because they're, you know, Jenny is Kathy's daughter. And Kathy all, like, she takes requests and she almost always pours if she can, if she has the oils. And I love that because she's really active on Facebook. And if you request something, she tries her best to pour it. And her turnaround time for pre-orders or ready to ship is usually really fast. So, love scoopable tart wax. Okay, now for my latest pre-order from Sassy Girl Aroma. You guys know, another one of my favorites. Love Julie Shop. This one, um, since I literally just unwrapped it, I'm not even sure what's in here. So I've got a couple, two, four, six, eight, nine brittles, one bag of blocks. So not too terribly bad. My order came with two samples this time. The first one is citrus verbena. Is it verbena or verbena? I don't know, but it is really pretty like an herbal citrus. Let me try to pop this out. It's very fresh and herbally. It's really nice. It'd be good for the kitchen. The next one is called Chillin. Don't have the notes for this, but if I can find them, I'll put them on the screen. But we'll try our best to kind of figure it out. Let's see. This smells very fresh as well. Maybe like a fresh florally. Like this would be a good bathroom scent, but not sure the exact notes in there. Okay, let's do the bag of blocks first since I only have one. This one's called Beach Bummin, Beach Nights, and Shaker Boom Boom. Don't really know the notes of Shaker Boom Boom. Is it just regular Boom Boom, like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream? But anything with Beach Nights, Julie's Beach Nights, you guys know I love it. It's my favorite. And so anything that sounds just like possibly could be up my alley with beach nights. I always try to pick it up. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. Get the beach nights and this does smell like the boom boom cream. So it's like a warm nutty beach nights. Gosh, I love this. I kind of want to melt this right now. Oh, it smells so good. So glad I picked that up. Okay. And then let's see for the brittles. Let's start with Montego Bay, Blackberry, Beach Nights, and Marshmallow. So another Beach Nights blend. And I've just recently found that I really like Beach Nights with Blackberry. It just gives it a nice little like sweet, but also a little tart. It's just so good. Gosh, that smells good. Beach Nights and Blackberry. I'm here for it. Love that. Okay, next up is one I've never tried before. Watch the storm, a cleansing ocean air before the storm. Again, trying to pick up some scents that Jordan would like since he loves aquatic scents. Okay, this is very fresh, it's aquatic. It smells a little bit floral to me. Kind of sea salt maybe. It smells pretty good. I'm going to melt it and see how I like it. And hopefully it doesn't give me too much of a headache. But I do get a little hint of floral in there. Pretty nonetheless. Okay. 
Next up is when sparks fly. I've had this one before. Sweet baked cherries baked into a delicious zucchini bread and frosted with amaretto fudge icing. I love amaretto. Yes, this smells very good. Let's see, what is sweet baked cherries? The cherries, the amaretto really leans a little bit cherry to me, but not a medicinal cherry. It's definitely just a bakery cherry, not even a like sweet, super sweet maraschino cherry, just like a, I don't know, this is just a perfect bakery cherry with that zucchini bread. Amaretto icing. Gosh, that smells really good. It's better than what I remember. So I really like this one. This must have been, I mean, I haven't really looked up through these brittles, but it's like she poured all my favorites this time. So here is Santos Royale, Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. I pick this one up almost every time also. I really like Palo Santo with sugar cookie or any bakery, honestly. And this one's just so good. It's like the perfect combo, like 50-50 of the marshmallow sugar cookie and then the Palo Santo. This is perfection. Such a good one if you like Palo Bakery. Oh, I love that. Next up is another favorite. My goodness, pistachio in the kitchen. Pistachio, cookies, Twinkies, birthday cake, vanilla fudge butter, and marshmallow. This is one of my favorites. I love the In the Kitchen blends from Sassy Girl. And y'all know anything pistachio. I just can't resist and have to pick up. And this is so good. Julie's pistachio is really strong, like always, and just perfect. But this blend in particular, pistachio in the kitchen, it's like the pistachio is there, obviously. But it's not so super strong. I mean, I can smell it. But the In the Kitchen blend really kind of tones it down, honestly, and it's just so good. So if you're kind of new to pistachio, don't know if you'd like it, maybe try this one. Like pistachio zucchini waffle cone, green machine, those are like heavy, heavy pistachio. And this is too, don't get me wrong, but I get like the, the more bakery elements in there. I'm horrible at describing that, but anyway, this is like less pistachio than normal, but it smells so good. Next up, we have Haunting. I think I've had this one before also. Booberry, Wildberry Mousse, Zucchini Bread, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So a good cereal. Booberry. Is Booberry cereal? Or just like a berry? I think Booberry is cereal, right? Cereal, Wildberry Mousse, Zucchini Bread, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Is Booberry cereal? Now I'm like doubting myself. Anyway, this is just like a berry zucchini bread with that vanilla bean noel. This is so pretty. If you like berry scent, this is a good one. Booberry. What are the notes in Booberry? If you know, let me know down below, but this is good. Love that. Next up we have 7-Up Pound Cake. I don't know if I've ever tried this one from Sassy Girl. Has she ever poured it alone? I'm not sure. Warm cake, almond, lemon, lime, vanilla, and sugar. I really love 7-Up Pound Cake from other shops that I've tried, so really excited to try hers. Oh, yeah, I really get that citrus out front. The lemon lime, like that fizzy even from 7-Up. I get the cake. Mmm. Little hint of almond. This smells really good, you guys. I really like that effervescent scent out front and center. That really like citrus fizzy. And then comes like the cake and the hint of almond. Gosh, that's good. I can't wait to warm that. And then lastly, I got two of Bob Jones. I mean, this is probably, I can't, I hate to say favorite because like all of her blends are so good. But Bob Jones was like the first scent that I got a loaf of and I smelled it. 
and I left it out on my desk because I wanted to just continue smelling it like all the time. It was like the first scent that really wowed me, I think from Sassy Girl. So it has a special place in my heart. So every time she offers it, I pick it up because not only does it smell amazing on cold, but it is just phenomenal on warm. So this is Bob Jones Brown Sugar Zucchini Bread and Old Town Bake Shop. Again, if you like bakery scents, if you love zucchini bread, highly recommend this. It smells so good. Gosh, the brown sugar, it's just like a sweet zucchini bread baking in a bakery or something. It just smells divine. Like, this smells heavenly. Love this so much. So, yeah, I got two brittles of that. And that is everything I got from my latest Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order. So, let me know down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you picked up anything from either one of these releases. I think I've got two more Sassy Girl Aroma orders outstanding. And I don't know if I've got anything else coming. Let's see, Sassy Girl. And then I ordered from Birdies. And I want to say her release, was it Saturday, Friday or Saturday? So, that should be coming because she always ships really fast. And I don't know if I've got anything else, you guys. I've really been trying. It's so hard. I've been trying to be better. And I say that as I film like a thousand bazillion hauls. But still, you know, a little bit better is progress, right? So, I'm just going to continue to try my best. And um, melt through what I have. Because, I mean, you guys know I have a really large collection. And the way, rate I'm buying it as to how much I'm melting is just getting overwhelming. So here's hoping that I can not buy anything else. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend whenever you're watching. Let me know what you did this weekend down below, and I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.